Hey everyone, Carl Brown here again today. Uh, today I decided that we should probably do a little bit more with the rolling technique. I had a, uh, a viewer ask me a couple of questions about it. So um, when we first looked at rolling technique, we just did it across two strings. Uh, if you remember, rolling is when you basically place your finger on a um, on the on the string and then you collapse the top joint to roll to the next string because you had to play a note in the same fret but different string and you want to use the same finger for that and when you leave that string it mutes the string you came from the tip of your finger is still touching the bottom of that string and then your fingers collapse if you want to do a reverse roll which is going from a a um, a string that's closer to the ground and then going up you would reverse that by already having your finger collapsed and then you would just raise it back up to its normal position and when you did that the bottom of that finger will be muting the string underneath it where you just came from so so you can separate the notes just like that on adjacent strings and when their strings uh, are just basically just two adjacent strings you can pretty much do it all with just that top joint with all the fingers there so we went through these pentatonic forms these couple of pentatonic forms down here now what I want you to look at here is we're going to talk about rolling across more than two strings now when you do this uh, routinely you're going to have to have a little bit of help sometimes with your, your hand. So what I want you to watch for when I'm doing this is I'm going to kind of do the same exercises that we did before. Um, um, you can get this. I'm going to make a PDF download of this exercise, these two exercises. It's just like the Eldred pentatonics, except we're going to be going across three strings. And uh, with these two pentatonic shapes, which will make you do these uh, larger rolls with all of your fingers. And we have basically what you'll see watch my hand when I do this I got my thumb planted back here in the middle of the neck about right in the middle part of the neck right up on the uh, the see I have like this walnut strip here on my strat and then you're gonna take that and you're going to start like a normal roll so I went from the fifth string sixth string to the fifth string there on the fifth fret and I had that string muted and then to continue that roll, I'm going to help it by pulling my wrist back. It may be a little up, but it's mostly just pulling your hand back behind the neck a little bit. And see how that's going to make your finger roll a little bit more. And that string I just came from is muted. And then we can continue, we can come back down by, I'm in the middle of the finger. So it's like, you still have to be extended across all three, three uh, strings, but it, it's a very slight motion that you help create this little rolling effect across your finger as if you were just doing like that across your finger like that. Um, that's obviously very exaggerated. The faster you get these rolls, the more you play them, see how minimal you can make the movement there. But in the beginning, you're going to have to maybe make it very exaggerated. So when I'm coming back up with a reverse roll, I bring the hand back out in front of the fretboard again. So I have, if you can see where my knuckles are here, as I roll, they kind of go directly underneath the fretboard and then they come back out to the proper playing position as the roll comes back down to back up to normal position. All right. So basically you can do that before we just did the rolls. You know across up up and down those pentatonics what you can do now is just roll across three now that didn't require a roll across all three strings there but now you'll see when I come down with the pinky at the fifth fret I'll see if I can lift my other fingers here and let you see this it'll be like see my hand came out and then I came up on the fingertip there and then we have, and then roll against the pinky again. It's already smushed. My hand is tucked back a little bit. So when I come out, I bring the hand out right there first, and then roll the finger completely on its tip in the last one. 
Let me show that again. I come out, and then I roll back. So the first roll to roll was really created by the hand. Because my hand is, my finger is still kind of smushed against the string. It's kind of like a rolling pin, and then my, my hand is just ro uh, rolling it up and down the fretboard. All right, and then. There's a lot of pinky ones on this shape. Alright, now right here we'll go up to that shape built off the six and we'll do the same. And then come down. So I'm going up with three. So you can see when my hand goes back. And then when I come down, I'm gonna do it with the second group, the the always the second note on each string in the shape. And that's where you can see my hand come back out. So it's going in, comes back out. So just try to practice that a little bit and take it to any adjacent strings. You don't really have to play it in pentatonics all the time. You can sit there and just practice. Just take the second finger. And uh, even go to, to more, that was four strings there. So, um, you know, obviously it gets more difficult and it's kind of harder to keep the notes clean and separated the more strings you have. Um, but there's also, you want to practice, it's kind of easier to do, is when you go across three strings, but you skip a string. So I'm not playing that fifth string there. You need to be able to roll across to that, some, from the sixth to the fourth, or the sixth to the third. So that's another technique you want to work on, is actually skipping the string in the middle, which is actually much easier. You still get to collapse your finger, but you don't have to worry about muting out that fifth string or whatever string is in between. But I'm still having to help it a little bit with a hand. Now if I'm doing this, I'm exaggerating the hand movement. That's not what you're going to be doing. You want to keep your hand as still as possible and still do it. work on that and that's just a little bit more advanced rolling techniques but you're going to need them in, uh, in pretty much all playing styles. So uh, pick the PDF up at guitarlessons365.com. Just for, look for the lesson in the lessons archive in the intermediate level and um, have fun with it. Please support the site in any way you can and I'll see you guys next time with more lessons. Thanks. Bye-bye.